All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best optimized settings to use for God of War on PC so you guys can get the best frame rates while still having a really good visual experience. Now, before we get started, I'd really appreciate if you go down below and give this video a like so more people see it and get subscribed so you don't miss my future content. And without out the way, let's get right into the video. So before I go showing you the optimized settings, first, let's take a look at what fully maxed out graphic settings with no DLSS or FSR looks like. And this is what it looks like right here. On my RTX 3070, I'm getting about 65 to 70 frames per second. If I look up in the sky, it gets, you know, up to 90, but who walks around the game like this, honestly? So, so we'll keep it around here. And as you can see, just, just right around the 60 FPS mark, which for me, honestly, is fine. I don't mind 60 FPS, but if you want more, I would recommend you use these settings, which let's take a look at them right now. So through my basic testing of pretty much what I did is I would turn all these settings up to ultra and then turn one setting down at a time and see how much of a difference it makes. And I noticed that the shadow setting right here really makes a big difference if you go from ultra to high. Then I'll also recommend you turn this down to ultra and that's going to make a big difference in your frame. It's going to actually change it about, uh, you can see probably about 20 frames per second right there and that's using no scaling technique like FSR or DLSS which I'll talk about those in just a second but really this is already a 20 FPS jump and if we do use these scaling techniques right here which first we'll start off with FSRs because I feel like more people can use FSR since you can use it on AMD GPUs and any non RTX GPUs so we'll turn that up to I like to either use ultra quality or quality and if you want to, you can use balance, but I'm not a fan of how it looks. And definitely do not use performance. It does not look good. Trust me, don't use it. So I'd recommend keeping that. We'll stick with quality right there. So we turn that on. And bam, we're up to the 100 FPS mark. Uh, almost, yep, there we go, 100. <laughs> 100 FPS mark, which honestly, I mean, 60 FPS felt really nice and smooth. So this just feels really really nice now if you do have an rtx gpu and you wanted to use dlss we'll take a look at how that looks right now we'll leave that on you know we'll do quality so it's slightly less slightly slightly less by about four or five frames less than what quality looked like on fsr now say you have a less powerful GPU and even with these settings, you're not happy with the frame rates you're getting, then I would recommend you turn down either atmospherics to high, or you can turn down shadows to original. And honestly, with changing these two settings, I'd be hard pressed to find the difference. I truly cannot. If anything, maybe these shadows on the, on the floor right here look a little more blurry and not as sharp, but honestly, that's the only difference I can maybe spot everything else looks exactly the same. And that brought our FPS up about another, let's see, maybe five or six maybe, depending on what you're looking at. But yeah, those are my optimized settings. And keep in mind, if you have a way less powerful GPU, like a 1060 or like a 1050, you're gonna be stuck at low settings. I, I mean, I hate to break it to you, but this is probably what you're gonna be stuck with right here, so. This video is kind of more oriented towards not really high-end GPUs, but more of the mid-tier like uh, RTX 2060 or maybe like a 1650 or 1660, just those sorts of GPUs. And obviously if you have like a 3090, you shouldn't even be worried about <laughs> optimizing your settings. You'd be good to go no matter what you set it at. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then hey, go down below and give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe so you don't miss my future videos i'm planning on making a few more god of war videos and obviously i'm going to continue on my usual content which if you want to know what that is just head over to the channel you'll figure it out really quickly <laughs> but yeah i really hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video peace